So I think I'm about to walk up on some jack o' lantern mushrooms with the dog and saw some bright orange by a tree. And sure enough, we got some jacks. Now, you don't want to eat these mushrooms right here. There's a ton of them. These sometimes are mistaken for chanterelles. I mean, even kind of this late in the season, somebody could maybe accidentally think they're honey mushrooms, but they're not. Uh, some, there's a yellow jacket. Those little things are crazy. Some major identification characteristics for jack o' lanterns. This is the first patch I've seen this year is going to be if you take one of these, I'm not going to mess with that because it's got the yellow jacket on it. If you take one of these stems here and you look at it, first it has true gills. So true gills meaning that you can like move them with your fingers, right? And if you take the stem and you cut the stem open here or just break it open, it's going to continue to be orange on the inside. And so for a lot of the chanterelles, the stem is going to be white. jack o lanterns often grow in these big clusters like such. These mushrooms are bioluminescent. You can see where they've dropped their whitish spores right about down there. There's some more spore debris. Now even though these mushrooms are poisonous, it's completely fine that I'm handling them. I just need to not eat any of them.